hours later, I still have a girlfriend. It wasn't an illusion. <laughs> so, um, mittens, Wes, etc. <clears throat> Saw your recent video entitled Yay Sonic Sons. Thank you for that. Uh, you're right. There is more emotion in uh, in a video than in in uh, Facebook comments. Speaking of which, I've gotten a couple of comments and, and people you know, clicking that they like this and stuff. I've gotten some words of congratulations. Uh, both me and my new girlfriend are finding it very fun to announce the relationship to everyone that we know. <laughs> um, speaking of the girlfriend, by the way, she's a little if you're putting her name online, which I can understand. I, I went two years on YouTube before I even said my name, and then it was only my first name. Uh, so she said I can say general details about her, but more specific things like a name, not at the moment. Okay, fine. Uh, she's a history major. She may become a history teacher that way, though she's not sure. She says she may change things. Doesn't know. Um, she really loves comic books. Or knows a lot more about them than I do. Uh, before I asked her out, she had described her ideal man as Hal Jordan, which is the Green Lantern, or one of the Green Lanterns, rather. Uh... <laughs> So after I asked her out, I quoted the Green Lantern Oath, or rather, one of the oaths, because there are various versions, uh, but the most popular one. In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. And she was so thrilled that I could know that from memory. <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about Green Lantern, actually. I just I read this on Wikipedia this one time. And I... <laughs> That is so cool that I can, uh, I can make her feel good just by quoting her bits of comic books and stuff. Um, but yeah, so those, those are some, some general details. Probably maybe get more as time goes. I don't know, but she's like the Yeti, I guess, out of Vlogbrothers. Not the actual Yeti. No, not, not What I mean is uh, John and Hank Green, the Vlogbrothers channel, very famous. Uh, at least as far as YouTube is concerned. Uh, John's wife is never named, well, I was probably named at some point. Uh, certainly doesn't appear on screen, not that I've ever seen, and she's referred to as the Yeti. For what reason, I don't know. There must be some sort of in-joke that I, I haven't seen literally all of their videos. Um, but what I'm saying is, it's me doing videos with this girl who's not yet appeared or been named thing, but it's like I'm the Vlogbrothers now, which is cool. Okay, I've sort of lost what I was going with at that point. Um, in other news, I still have finals. Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, me and her are just like, okay, so we, have, we both gotta study, and we, we gotta be together, and we're juggling this as best as we can. Um, I think it's gonna be alright. Basically, I, I'm a senior, right? So I need to not fail. That is seriously my goal, is to not fail. And, you know, I, I, I guess good grades might be better, and what the frick do I really care? Like, okay, my our, our teacher too might be disappointed in me. I'm sorry you feel that way, but I don't really care. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, uh, so so like I, I got this this speech Japanese I've got to memorize. Um, a couple programs to do that hopefully that all work out. One of these is this group program thing. So I've written my chunk of it, but I don't know if it works with everyone else's chunks. And I'll be seeing them tomorrow and find out if that all works. Um. Let's see, this is girlfriend. Yesterday, we talked, as we've been talking every day since we met, um, and I spent a good chunk of time describing a story of mine entitled Yudo the Wanderer, which I know I've mentioned here before. It was a video about uh, Mr. Richard A. Knack, an actual published, multiple, multiple, multiple times published fantasy author, um, who said he might look at my stuff. He has not yet looked at my stuff. I'm not particularly surprised. It took him like several months to respond to the first email. I wouldn't be surprised if it was several more months before he finally remembers, oh, I said he was going to read the thing. Anyway. Um, but that story, You to the Wanderer, you can see it online. I'm sure I put a link with the sidebar. Speaking of links in the sidebar, the girlfriend said I should show you some of these YouTube videos that she randomly likes. Okay, so there they are. They're going to be up in the sidebar. Which way is the sidebar? Wait. One of these two places. Or maybe somewhere else. There's another vlog with this thing right there. Not being sure where the sidebar is. I think it's over there. I'm going to... Anyway. <laughs> so there's a couple of links up there. Um, but 
uh, so I got my, my book that I'm writing thing. At the moment, I've got 25,000 words, which is like 40 pages, all depending on how you space it and so forth, whatever. Uh, or something like 80 pages, if you do what I just did, and no, I didn't quadruple space it or something. <laughs> um, or double space it from 40 to 80. I'm smart. Anyway, I went to a self-publishing site called Lulu, because it was the first publishing site that showed up when I searched for that on Google. And, you know, you can upload a document and, like, they have, you know, certain pre-made covers and stuff, and you can publish a book. So what I've done is I've ordered myself a couple of copies of the book I've written thus far. And, uh, and it's, you know, the, the story is very episodic. Like, there's various tales that are sort of told out of order, and you can, you know, you can read it even if I don't have, you know, the majority of the thing written. I said earlier that 25,000 words. I looked it up. A ballpark for a book is, like, 100,000 words. And... If I wrote, say, a thousand words a day, which a certain blogger called Carl Gaida, uh, that I recently did a video about on the Samsung channel, he does a thousand words a day, I thought, you know, I could probably do that. I've done a lot of these stories that are around a thousand words. I've done them in one day. I've done them in, in a couple of hours, less than that, maybe. If I did consistently a thousand words a day, in 75 days, I'd be in that ballpark range, 100,000 words. And... Uh, about, say, 90 days before I go to Japan... So imagine if, 90-ish days, I don't know exactly. But imagine if, by the time I get to Japan, I have written a book. I finished it. That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Even, you know, just to finish it. And then there's a whole process of getting it, there's a self-published, and there's the actual publishing sort of thing. If, you know, that might be better, I don't know. And then maybe actually selling a few copies. But imagine having a book written. Or even just, just to have the first draft. Maybe, I, maybe it takes a, quite a while to, to edit things. That, that, that's true. That could, that, could, that could easily happen. Wow. So I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking, I'm gonna get through files, maybe, and start with this thousand words a day thing, maybe, maybe. And then I got uh, class during January, but then February, March, I'm off. I possibly could get a lot of writing. Do two thousand words a day? Could I? I don't, I don't know. I could. I, I could have a lot of writing done. Anyway, so I've ordered myself a couple of copies of my book, as it is currently done, which is forty pages, or when the thing became, the book is kind of small. You know, the way they they. The print thing, it's like, so it became like 80 pages. It was like, whoop, I just doubled my page count. <laughs> um, and that'll get here by like the end of the month. These things take a while because uh, they have to manufacture it first. <laughs> they don't have any copies lying around. But at the end of the month, I'll be able to show, like, just around my family, you know, just to say, hey, look, here's my book, here's my. And to show to my girlfriend, by the way. Which, by the way, I'm very glad that she listens to my ideas and stuff. Like, I was talking, I said, I said, I said that I said, I was saying to this, wait a minute, whatever meta sayings I talked about it with her uh, yesterday and uh, and stuff and it's very important to me to have someone listen to my ideas and things and book I'm writing a book and I still have freaking finals to do <laughs> remember that I remember that I remember a year or two ago this one day I got up and I was all like okay I gotta study for a, a midterm for Japanese and I was like Japanese midterm Spider-Man 3 and I spent like two hours rewriting the plot to Spider-Man 3 in my head and eventually did a little bit of studying for that midterm. Uh, so yeah, I, 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 you know, might need to get, I just need to not fail. <laughs> I'm gonna get back to this for now, and gonna see the girlfriend uh, later tonight, and I'm so excited to have a girlfriend, it's amazing. Man, we just had our 48 hour anniversary a couple of hours ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I can't, anyway. Thanks for watching. See you later.